Hey buddies, welcome to Mass Games, my name's Simon, today I'm going to show you how to set up, play and then review the game Jaipur. Now this is a two player game, a very tight game, which has lots of strategy, lots of stuff online about this game. And you'll find actually on Board Game Arena, so there's a premium edition, the second edition that's out. And it's a game with uh, lots of love, and uh, a game that I'm not necessarily that good at. You're going to take numerous stacks of tiles, different gems that you are trying to acquire, and you're trying to get the best points in a given round, because if you have the most points in a round, you win the round. If you win two rounds out of three, you win the game. So you, sometimes the game ends over, like the last game where I lost, where you literally only have to play two rounds. So there's various different uh, gems that you can be getting. Depends on what you want to call it, but I'm happy to stick in just to the coloured name as well. And uh, depending on what kind of gems you're going for, you're actually having to use a different amount of materials to get them. So you've got other things here too. So you've got some other chaps over here, the more expensive gems this end here. And these are to do with victory tokens if you happen to in a round. So we'll put those away for the time being. If you happen to, I'll get onto this in due course. So just while I'm still setting this up, please hit the like button, show me enjoying the contents. Uh, please also share, and also if you like this video, um, not only green thumbs up if you're watching on Board Game Arena, but go into YouTube and hit yeah, that thumbs up in the blue button. If you're watching on Board Game Geek, also head to YouTube to of course comment there, over of course instead of on Board Game uh, Geek as well. And of course, yeah, subscribe in YouTube. Uh, please check out the comments and descriptions and all the other playlists such as two player games. So let's start off with laying out three cards in the center. They're gonna be camel cards. Camel cards are a way of getting a bonus. You can be scoring yourself five victory points here for the most camels at the end of a round. You're also gonna be taking two extra cards that go here. And we have to have a green card out and a red card. You're gonna start with five cards. So that with an open hand, I happen to have some cloth, some cloth, we just shuffle these a bit and uh, I don't mind if they're not. And you're going to start with five cards. You have a maximum hand limit of seven. And let's not show what the opponents have. Let's just move those cards out of the way. So again, you're trying to get the most points. So what are you going to do on your turn? Well, you could try and get some more cards. So right now I've got three cards. What this means is I could trade in those cards as an action. By trading in these cards, I'm trading in three. I get the first three most expensive gems here. So I'm going to take myself a five, a three, and a three. But if I take this one, well, let's say, for example, I've got three anyway, I get this bonus. I get this bonus tile because I picked up three. So at the end of this round, we're really scoring, I'll score three victory points. But there's another one here. So what I'm going to do is take this one and then replenish the row, replenish that row. And they're going to get a card here. And this time we've got silver, whatever that might be. So now it's my turn again. This time I'm going to spend those four because there's nothing relevant. So spend those four cards, and they're going to go into the discard pile, and I'm going to claim one, two, three, four, which of course right now is worth uh, 10, 13 points, plus I've got a level four card here, which is worth another six points. So there's more points available for me. Now what an opponent could choose to do is take all of one type of camel, let's say, and why that's relevant is of course they could be scoring the camel bonus, which is worth five points at the end of the uh, round as well. So lots of important ways of scoring points, lots of different ways you could gain those camel points, which... While it's only worth five, it's a net of 10 because somebody else can't then claim them. But the thing with camels is they're going to be put down, face down into your pile and you won't see how many your opponent has. And therefore, if someone's way ahead of them, then of course, you're not going to try and take any more. If they've got loads of camels, you're not going to try and just waste a turn taking camels as well. Now, aside from that, so like I said, it's a hamlet of seven. And based on the amount of tokens here, there's always one card more the amount there are here as well so that's something to be aware of so remember you're taking cards you're trying to get at least three typically to get a bonus and then claiming equal to those tiles amounts these are more premium so you can't just use a single card so let's just take another random card you can't just use a single yellow to buy this you must have two to get these ones these can be single cards but you might as well go for the multiplier as well and keep an eye on those camels that's been a very brief overview for the game Jaipur. Lots of depth as to what you want to go for, i.e., for example, do you want to go for the red cards, these expensive cards earlier on, making sure that you're claiming them, making sure that if you see your opponents taking them, do you want to actually keep an eye on out on that and stop them taking X precious red cards, uh, the red sevens, and having to take the five, and amongst very many other things you can do. Like I said, it's on the second print already, and apologies for the shaky cam. I'm recording this hands-free because this is not my copy. Hope you found that of interest. Very nice, precious, quick game to play in around 20 minutes. That has been the game of Jaipur.